Hello friends, my name is TTB, welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Well, it is time to tackle, finally, finally Vermeer. If I'm not 100% wrong about this, but I think I am correct. Are we missing anything else? We're missing two League Medallions and a couple of valuable Earth materials. But these are just like tiny XP thingies, they don't do anything for the other Mass Effects, so... I'm not too worried about this. I don't want to spend another three or four hours on planets. So, yeah, we're just leaving those on the sideline. I'm making an executive decision. Being a completionist is one thing, but if it doesn't add anything to the story, we'll just choose to not do those. Let's go to Vermeer. We get yoinked across the galaxy. This is a galactic network of yoinkage on those mass effect relays. Anything here that we can scan? Oh, hang on. Uh, I already clicked that one. Click that one. Nope. How about this? Nope. And this? Nope. Okay. Off to Walmart we go. Land. Taking Liara and Tali once again. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Hell yeah. Dripping yeah, wet and drop, angry. Yeah. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joker out. I selected the message to set that said good job Joker, but in, in no word ever did he say good job Joker. It's kind of unfair to the little guy, isn't it? Alright. Well, this is going to be a lot of fighting. This whole planet is basically non-stop fighting, so let's go. Weird critters. Die, weird critters. Geth rocket drones, okay. No, that's not a target. That's a target. What? You're not dead? There we go. And the rocket troopers. Drones and the Gaff Juggernaut. Let me just blast it. There we go. I like it how this whole thing is like right next to the ocean, and they even did some like rudimentary waves. I mean, of course, Far Cry did it better, but it's not bad. They did what they could with the limited technology they had at the time. Um, There we go. The drone. Yep. Okay, this guy just got annoying. Can you stop for a sec? There we go. So something else here though. Okay. Anything more? Or is that it now? Are we done finally? Oh. Yes, maybe. Something's still here, come on. What is it? Where are you? Come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Up, 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 up. I'm going up the mountains. Nope. Oh. Let's keep going, I guess. Oh. Still jammed. Oh. I 
Alright. Let's get in here and see what we find. I'm not saying KTB is interrupting Gaff Beach vacations. Yep. You plan your vacation, don't plan it next to me. There's no gonna, gonna be no piña coladas for those Gaff. I'm just watching out for them. I mean, they would fry their assistance with a piña colada. Alright, Gaffy boys, let's do this. That's it. Can you stop that, please? Okay, he's dead. Now he's stopping it. He did. Uh, okay. All right. Nothing else here. Back to our uh, little tank. And moving on. I think they did, a, they did a really good job in the day, uh, back in the day with Vermeer. It just looked like such a lush, relaxing planet. Of course, all the fighting on top is kind of weird, but... Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, something big on the radar. Colossus time? Yep. It's Colossus time. Do we just drive over him? GTA! <laughs> once you've done it once, you want to do it ever always again. Run you over in my Aztec! GTA! <laughs> Let's do more GTA! Ah, bonk! <laughs> Whee! Bonk. Yeah. Oops. I sat on him. I sat on his face. My big metal tank butt. Hello, boys. How's it going? You miss me? Apparently, yes. Is toast as well. I think there's another Colossus waiting for us. Maybe two even. I just keep firing like crazy. That's what we do. Oh. We're overheating a little bit. Ramming speed! Yui! <laughs> I'm having too much fun with the Mako right now. On this planet, it's just guilty, guilty fun. Hang on. And a boink. <laughs> this gas stuff really isn't that stable. Here. Boink. Nobody would think of ramming these guys. That's actually the best thing you can do against them. Uh oh. Oh, too much ramming. We're gonna be starring in a new movie, it's called Ram Ranch. It's an adult movie. Boom, there we go. It's about it's about cars getting rammed into GEF armatures and Colossi. Rap Master X is saying it's a shame they got rid of the Mako after Mass Effect 1. Nah, I think it was the right choice. And you have Project Firewalker and Mass Effect 2 if you wanna like run this stuff, but I think it was the right choice. The Mako was just uh, a time sink in my opinion for most cases, so I think they made a good choice of removing it. Where am I going even? We must find a way to disable their artillery. Hey yeah, we'll do that. First we will disable the Geth right here. Hello? Let's just kill him by hand, whatever. Oh. Wrong way. We 
must find a way to disable their artillery. The arrow, shut up. Oh, oh, I hear Gaffy sounds. These Geth are really not that stealthy. Every time they see something, they, they start yammering around like an old hard drive. Not very stealthy. It's coming right for us! Okay, he's dead. Okay, we've got the Geth gate controls. Oh, we need the generator first, okay. Uh, burp, 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 meow. That stuff. AA power controls. Disabled. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Open Out. sesame. Ready to move on your work, Shepard. There we go, we're opening the gates. Now we can drive through. Although I have to say, I'm pretty sure I could have just driven the Mako up here and then wedged through somehow. Would have been hilarious though. All right, let's get back to it. Oh, I see more targets. Boink. Oh, hey, Joker. Hey. Oop. Don't take your hands off the wheels, guys. Case in point. <laughs> I killed one of the guys by shooting into the ceiling. Close to him. Alright. More of these dudes to murder! Can you please stop running? Hello good sir. Goodbye there good sir. That was assassinate level 3. As you can see, it has quite a bit of power. Well, the sniper rifle is not bad actually. It slices and dices through Geth. That was the final gate. Our path to the Solarian camp should be clear from here. All right. Off to the Salarian salad camp. And off to a point where you better hope you have enough Paragon or Renegade points or you've got a problem. Vroom vroom! Boink. Right through we go. We're making really good time here. Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. All right. Best speed ahead, I guess. Oh, there looks like a Solarian camp back there. There is the Solarian camp. So what are we supposed to do now? I should wear a crappy Stay armor. put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We're the reinforcements. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. 
The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Well, Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Alright, let's go and talk to Rex. But, um, yeah, I mean, if they get their hands on their cure, holy shit, he's starting to shoot the water. Okay, he seems to be pissed. Like, if they get their hands on the cure, and the Krogan can just reproduce without any problems, that is a different problem then, because Krogans don't carry, let's call it, two cojones. They've got a quad. They can pump out little Krogans like crazy. So, yeah. But first things first. Right now we have to deal with this facility. Let's go talk to Rex. Stop murdering the water, please. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset. But we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Okay. Well, that's what we call a Mexican standoff. Actually, it's not. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? from the council once to thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all I doubt Saren will be as generous all right Shepard you've made your point I don't like this but I trust you enough to follow your lead just one thing when we find Saren I want his head you can have that see there we go Rex is alive Because the only other option is to, uh, I mean, you can also talk him down if you're a renegade, or you can just have him shot. Like, literally. You can purge this character out of the game at this point, and he's not gonna show up in Mass Effect 2 or 3. It's kinda weird. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Uh, let's see. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Commander Rentola, can I rent something from Let you? Let me see what you have. What little there is. Weapon license and some crap. Okay, never mind then. We're moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Let's, let's talk to the captain. Talk to the captain. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Insert something clever Unfortunately, here. the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Imza, thanks for the biddies. Okay, where do we need to place the bomb? Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? 
The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Stop whining, Caden. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep aye, it simple, Kaden. understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Oh, no, that's not a suicide mission. The suicide mission is a different Mass Effect game. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. Anonymous, thanks for the 10 bucks. The system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Hmm. All right, let's move out. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. It's speech time. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. The silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Well, you heard the man. Hold the line. We are going to hold the line with Tali and Liara, as always. To the enemy facility, Comcheck, we go. You read me, Commander. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, 
If you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Alrighty, so let us go ahead and work on that. Let me just make a new save game and check on something real quick. Once again, anonymous man or lady without a name. Thank you for the ten bucks. Okay, that should be fine. Annoying saying, call the Citadel, please hold the line. <laughs> Yo, Citadel, please hold the line. <laughs> God. Oh, chat, you're cracking me up like crazy. All right. All right. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Yeah, I know. Time to get some attention. Fire is coordinated on Monovi team. We can't reach the guest turrets. They're out of range. I don't see anything, but something is up there. Oh. It's a sniper. Come on. That's not a sniper, that's a rocket launcher, dude. The sniper's up there, I think, but I can't really hit him. Okay. What am I doing here? Let's just go in. Charge! Warm up. Haha. <laughs> I knocked the gift destroyer on the ass. Sniper? Question mark? What? Where'd he go? Eh? That's the arrow. Okay, he's done. Triangulation tower. Disrupted. No more GAF communications. So the way this goes is, the more stuff you disrupt, and the more advantages you remove from the GAF, the higher the chance is that Captain Kirahi and his team survive. So, of course we want to make sure those guys survive, because these are nice dudes. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Man of Eye. Let's go uh, to Satellite Uplink Tower, I guess. And of course we're gonna murder everything, so... You know, extra XP. This guy was meditating below... the waterfall, apparently, so... Alright. That Geth was getting some Zen vibes in. It's a Zen Geth. You missed me. There we go. They're calling sat strikes. Mm, almost at the uplink tower. Question mark. Just got launched sky high. There we go, no more satellite uplink for whatever reason. Oh! Jesus! Like, the arrow entirely just destroyed that whole outpost of a combo. Everything's in pieces. That is cool, I didn't even look at it. Haha! <laughs> There we go. Alright. Level 27. Closing in on 28. I don't think we're gonna get level 30 in this playthrough. But I think 28 is realistic. Rip. That's a Krogan. It's coming right for us! And there she flies. 
Oh, it's popped immunity. Yeah, I just took a headbutt from a Krogan warrior. Okay, she's still alive. That's not bad. You don't want Krogans to headbutt you. It's uh, not recommended. Just try the satellite uplink. Now we need to go to the refueling platform to the right. Take down the refueling station. No more get flyers. Okay, now let's check out this area and then we go to the research facility. Can I go to the front here? Yeah, maybe. I just want to grab the rest of the XP here. You don't really have to, but you know. Notice to satiate our bloodlust and to offset all the talking and walking we did at the beginning of the playthrough. I think it's a good good chance for us to let loose a little bit. Oh, what is that? This burnt corpses here in an upgrade kit. Got that. Somebody got barbecued. Oh, Krogan. Alright, let's get in here. Rip. What do we gain from this, though? Oh, loot. Loot is our gain. Okay. Now oh, we don't need any more loot. So, let's go to the research facility. Fight through. Disable the AA guns. Plant is a nuke. And play Duke Nukem. Toast. What else do we have here? Get the sniper. All right, they're all dead. Okay, there's two ways we can enter the facility. Front or back? Actually, let's do this. Let's go into the back, but we'll open the front first. Because there's another decision we need to make. This console. We've got access to base security. We can put the alarms from here, maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. There we go, another paragon action. We could go in this way, but I'm gonna go in the other side. There's a locked door that you can only open from the other side, as far as, far as I recall. So, to the back we go! And then, down here, into the sewers. Can you smell that? Krogan poo in the sewers. It is disgusting! 
Bah. The more, the more, the more of uh, permanent stinkage. There's Krogan droppings in here. Yikes. Okay. Open sesame. Let's go. Ooh, indoctrinated. Hello. There's Lynch here. Hang on. Sesame? No. Why can't we open this door? Eh? What's going on? Do you have to go back now? It makes no sense. Maybe I have to go the other side? That is weird. Well, back through the sewer. Let's go to the other side. At least the other teams are still fighting. That's all back and forth traveling here, unfortunately. I thought this door would be open. Alright, well, let's go in here, I guess. Hello! Housekeeping? Uh, what's that back here? That's a hack gaff destroyer. Hello? Can you please stop? I was wondering why the Gaffer's so tanky that I realized we're using Shredder rounds, right? That's okay though. I'd rather have Shredder rounds equipped for the Krogan. Because these guys are the real threat. Hello? Door, but to where? At least it opens. That's good. Nothing we can do here. Off to the security office we go. Oh, there's some cells down there. Is someone out there? These two dudes. Give a little ground, Lieutenant. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Alright, let's go down this lift, I guess. That's not a lift, it's a door. The outside, to go back inside. Let's see what we have down here. Well, you're not a gad. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. All right, what about? What about these guys? These look docile. Their minds are gone. What drove Saren to this? It is cruel beyond measure. 
Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it. It calls, and I must follow. I am only what it wants me to be. It never sleeps. It is emptiness. We are nothing before that. Okay, these guys are totally... These, these are guys are total brain dead. Okay. Moving on. So, let's see if we can go the other way now. Because that's sealed, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh. More cells. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savada of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd have said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yeah, send him out. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. That yeah, seems perfectly safe to let him out, right? Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? I'm simple! Why does he have a gun? Oh, oh, he's got friends. Sorry, I shot the RSS there for a sec. Oh, so much for that. These guys were uh, totally crazy. Cracked out of their minds. Okay, this door opens. Alright, so... I think if you go in the other way, then this door will be closed from this side and you have to go the other way around. So there's always, like, you always have to go through both entrances. That's what's happening here. You always have to go through both entries. Oh no, maybe not. Ah, oh, that was the closed door control, right? From earlier. Yeah, yeah. That's where we couldn't get in from the maintenance bay. Alright. Uh, more armor, more weapons, more stuff, and uh, more stuff. Alright. We are filthy rich. Just gonna omnigil everything here, why not? Um, yeah, as soon as I go ahead and just add a couple more items to the omnigil pile, we'll be at a comfortable maximum omnigil and maximum credits. Uh, did I just grab another weapon? That is not, not good. Grab that back, thank you. You have so much stuff, holy hell. Ah, almost at max. And the credits will, at least in part, transfer over to Mass Effect 2, so that's gonna be nice. Just make a little bit of space here, because we're gonna get some more loot. I don't want to have to juggle with it at that point. There we go. Alright, moving on. Let's take that lift. Down to the uh, lab level. Where they do weird experiments. Of, on reproduction. Unfortunately not the kind of kinky experiments that you do with two consenting adults. More like non-consenting adults and petri dishes. At least I hope there are adults involved. 
never know with those sick scientists. That's why ethics is so important for scientists. Because if you lose your ethics, you could do anything. Uh, also, door is behind me. Hello! Oh! Look at that! Husks! Sure. What is going on here? Where are the guards? Where is Sam? No. Stay back. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. You will not destroy the work we have started. Yes, we will. There we go. We destroyed him. Uh, hello, Mr. Husk. It's Elon Husk. Elon Husk and his brothers, Husky Harris and Husker. Uh, is there anything else here? Uh, there's a med station. Alright. Nothing else. So they had husks down here. And big ass tanks for people to lie in. Okay, that is not not creepy at all. No, no, it's not creepy at all. Can we get this to do more damage though? I mean, frictionless materials is nice, but oh. maybe a scram rail. Maybe use a scram rail. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit hotter, but it's also gonna it's gonna do a little bit more damage. So you know, I can't take a little compromise here. I think what's gonna follow here very soon is the coolest conversation in the whole game. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Not so fast. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think... He's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never... Ah! Ah! I believe you enjoyed that, Shepard. Yep, I did. That was very enjoyable. Scaring the blue lady. 
Anything else here? Nope. I think I'm a, I'm, I have obsessive loot disorder. Even though I don't need loot anymore, I still keep looting. Open sesame. So we're going now to Saren's private lab. Definitely looks better in red. Alright. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. Oh, well, let's uh, get flashed once again. Epilepsy warning. Feeling something bad is about to happen. You think? You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond. Ah, goosebumps. If I could talk like that, I would always talk like that. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there, it's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. A cycle? What cycle? The menstrual cycle! It has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the path of the sweet desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization 
has been eradicated and forgotten. We will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Maybe we can. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. End of line. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign, it's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Well, that is a haunting conversation, all right? So basically what the Reapers do is they have all this technology laid out that civilizations start using their technology, develop amongst uh, amongst like the paths of their technology, and at some point when they when the Reapers think, okay, this is high enough, they could become dangerous, everybody dies, and then next cycle, everybody dies. It's ingenious. It's ingenious. Maybe not this time though. Let's go ahead and finish up Vermeer in the next episode.